My name is Jan Welch, and welcome to the fourth episode of The Vault on the Then and Now YouTube channel. The Vault is my collection of VHSC, Hi8, and Mini DV tapes that I've filmed throughout the years. So, for this episode of The Vault, you're going to see the very first day of the Vicious Tour, we went to Palm Springs, California, and did some street skating around the city. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure and hit the like button below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload new videos. Leave any comments or suggestions you may have in the comments area. I'd like to take this time to thank Austin Paz over Jump Street Podcast for being my very first Patreon supporter. I'm stoked that he believes in what I'm doing with this channel. I also have links to my social media below, so make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you want to support this channel like Austin Paz did, go ahead and visit the Patreon link below. Let's get started with the newest episode of The Vault. The Vicious Tour took place in 2005. Vicious was started by John Elliott, Chris Peel, and myself. And we did this tour to bring the team together as a family bonding experience. It was myself, Ryan Schutte from Daily Bread, Lana Gallegos, Chris Cheshire, Jeff Stockwell, Pancho Barrera, and Sean Santamaria. And this is us heading to Palm Springs for our very first stop of the tour. And I'm going to introduce it right here. All right, we've been taking the mountain roads towards Palm Springs. That is our destination. Skate some street. So pools. flat, Salt and sea. so hot. Uh, Jeff Stock was gonna rock the house. Jan was driving down the hill and was riding the brakes a little bit too much. By the time we stopped the car, the brakes were smoking. Yeah, it's true. I think I was driving pretty vicious personally. <laughs> that was an excellent. The van was so full of gear and here. skaters. <laughs> Steep hill. Know, it's just a quarter pipe to. I don't know, do under Machia thing or just quarter pipes at a church. <laughs> This spot looks really cool, but it's not as sweet as it looks. It's this little area is skatable. The ground's not that great, and if it was flush to the transition, it would be perfect. But it's not. You have to hop up. In this spot right here, it's obviously got the dirt. It's a real quick spot to jump over it, and no one was able to do it. Uh, so after a couple attempts of this, Jeff Stockwell becomes really the only person to session this spot. And Jeff thrives at this type of terrain. You know, he's a great transition park skater. And he's great at this type of skating. And Poncho, given a few goes, Poncho I've known for a long time, since the 90s. When I lived in Austin, Texas, he grew up in San Antonio. Our crews were friends. We would visit them in San Antonio. They would come to Austin and skate with us. And throughout the years, we've been in touch, connected, got him on Vicious, uh, had him come out to California. Uh, unfortunately, he was a little bit injured before the tour, so he wasn't able to go full blast. But if you know Poncho, you've seen him in Leading the Blind, that crazy sweat stance at the end, like nuts. And he could troop carrying around anything. Like, and he's this rock and roll, like punk rock skater, one of the first of his you know, kind. And he was a perfect fit for Vicious back then. And, you know, it was a great, like a great dude. And I'm still very close with Poncho. Here you can see the video is very blown out, and that was a big problem we had with the spot. And pretty much every spot throughout the day, it was very sunny and hot there, and very little shade. So there's a big contrast between the shaded areas and the non-shaded areas, which was hard to film, as you can see in some of these clips. So Ryan's there shooting, Lonnie, follow cam. This is a pretty cool spot. Um, Although, no one would have skated except Jeff. There he goes. Uh, got the back royale. Coming in fakey to fakey three over the bushes. That was pretty good. But let's get it one more time. And that shirt, the Vicious Backyard shirt, before this tour, we screened all those shirts by hand. So every Vicious shirt you see in this edit, or on this episode, we screened by hand in the backyard. We got the whole team down to San Diego, and we did a photo shoot the day before the Vicious Tour. And that photo shoot appeared as an ad in Daily Bread, Volume 14, Number 1, in January 2006. It's the cover with, um, with Colin Kelso, and it also had a Vicious Tour article from this tour that was shot by Ryan. And this spot is a flat rail in downtown Palm Springs that we went to next. 
it's not the perfect rail by any means, but it's pretty cool. And everyone gave it a go. It's a session knit. Jump with top acid. This rail really took out Poncho, which you'll see in a minute. Like, pretty gnarly scars from, from this guy. But Cheshire had trouble grabbing that backslide. Poncho with back unity. Cheshire going for it again. Ah, uh, super sick. But still missed that grab at the beginning. Stockwell, I filmed that very poorly. Cheshire was such a steezy skater, and this is really, I mean, it's the only trip I ever made with Cheshire, and he came to San Diego, I think one other time that I filmed with him, so, you know, and then he kind of quit skating, and he disappeared, so he, really, he was on Vicious for very long, he was on his tour, Sweet. the team's changed, if you've seen the Vicious Sleeves video, you know how many skaters were on that team, how it evolved with the style and everything, so... You know, this is the very beginning. This is day one of Vicious. So it's interesting to see this footage and these skaters. Poncho, eye in the kind grind. Ah, yeah. super sick. Dude, I, sick <laughs> sick. Yeah. I love Poncho. And then right here, Ali Fish to, sh to hip it. He hips it so hard. He goes back, and he does it again. Oh, so painful. And look at the damage. That's just from hitting it twice. Oh, so bad. That's off the mat or what? Yeah. Yeah, it's just from hitting it twice. Oh, man. I left a big... I remember at by the end of the tour, that was just a huge hemoglobin, like, red, bloody nasty wound so it was like his whole trip was kind of Dude. screwed a little bit from that fall and bitching about the heat because it was way too hot to skate the next spot is the abandoned shopping mall in palm springs and they had these beautiful line rails the only person who skated them was stockwell and these these rails are awesome and jeff totally killed it also you can see that the lighting is also off here. And the dirty lens into the sun, so you can't shit. really tell as much when I'm filming from this angle that the lens is so dirty, but I don't know why. I still don't know watching all these tapes, why is the lens so dirty on every tape? That was sick. And that shirt, that Backyard Vicious shirt, that was one of our most popular shirts. The Backyard shirt and the Vicious Cobra yeah. shirt were both designed by Chris Peel as well as pretty much the entire line and brand. But those two shirts were continuous through the entire time of the brand. Like people love those shirts. And I still have a few of them. We did a lot of color variations, different color shirts, different variations of the Cobra. So yeah, I really, uh, really happy and proud of all that. Those graphics and the brand. It was definitely a very fun time and a great project to be part of and something I'm still very proud of having done with those guys. Oh, he lost his glasses. That was a shake it off, Jeff. Just shake it off. Switch up angles on that. So now we're at the Palm Springs Museum of Art and there's two spots. There's this Spot poncho skating, which is a roll to drop. And then there's a kink ledge that Chris Cheshire is going to skate shortly. And then across the street is another spot that's like a roll to gap, to gap, to grind, whatever that Sean Saramita skates. So right there three there. things, poncho right here with his roll, gap in, uh, sick. He comes back and does it one more time, adding a little shuffle when he jumps into the bank. There we go, and a little shuffle out. Oh, super sick. Not bad for just hitting his hip on those that square rail. And this is the kink ledge at the at the Museum of Art that Chris Cheshire is attempting to back royale and he just took it. He's okay though. 
And Sean Santamaria rocking his awesome members only leather jacket. Found a little spot, creative, very creative. In fact, this spot that Sean Santamaria is skating right now is, well, the clip we got from it is one of the favorite clips I got from this tour. Uh, it's just super, I think it's super cool, and I hope you think it's cool too. Um, but yeah, Sean, style master. Sean's such a funny guy. Like, I've known him for a long time. He's, uh, he can be condescending, funny, and it's just super fun to be around. He lived in Austin for a year or so when I was back there in around 2011. No, wait. No, it would have been about 2012, maybe. Uh, and he was living there, and we hung out quite a bit in Austin, and then he moved to L.A., and he's been there ever since. But... We did a bit of skating. It's actually funny because before I got a big wheel set up, the first person I saw with one was Sean. He had a some 110 tri-skates in his trunk. I don't know if he ever got into it, um, but he's also not the first person I would have expected to have him. Uh, so he's trying to roll, grind, and then jump over that wall, which is pretty sick. Chris back with the back royale action. Uh, nope. So Lonnie is going to be filming this too. So there should be a second angle and a different tape since Lonnie was filming all second angles. So everything you see on this tape, except this Sean Strandmere clip is going to be a second angle somewhere. And eventually I'll find it and make it available on the vault. Oh, so close. He hit his ass right when he jumped over the wall. Try it one more time. Oh, success. He goes back and does it a few more times from some different angles. So, And then Cheshire. Oh, lacing the back royale down the kick ledge. That was super sick. sick. Very steezy. Sit down. And then here's a switch up angle for Sean Santa Maria's attempt he has a few falls here uh that one wasn't too bad just got a little dusty that was a you know happy fall small this one oh not so good you can see the pain not smiling on that one that's for sure that's like i hate you yawn i want to go home back to florida back to tallahassee skate with mike lily not with you guys. <laughs> and a little psyched out from his fall. But he's going to come back. He's going to come back strong. He's going to lace it. And there we go. Super sick, Sean. And then here's a other little spot right by the museum. Just this little curved ledge. The battery's about to die. So we're trying to get the clip before it does. And Sean hadn't, before this tour, he actually hadn't skated in a few weeks. So he's a little bit rusty, a little frustrated at these first spots. I've been skating like two weeks. Now we're out here filming. There, there, there it goes. goes. Uh, and that's about as good as it's going to get on this clip because the battery died. There we go. And next spot, we found a salt and sea pool. This is going to be a different tape because all it was on this tape is us prepping it because it was dirty, had some puddles in there. Uh, this pool, I had been to a few times. John Elliott and I drove around to salt and sea many times as scouts for spots find pools and we found a few things but this is was the most famous pool and back then it was all cracked up and i've heard it's now been demolished so when we find this footage and i show it to you guys it's going to be nostalgic for sure that was a lot of good skating from the first day of tour i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button below subscribe to this channel if you haven't already hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads and leave any comments suggestions questions below and make sure and follow me on social media instagram facebook twitter links are below 
And I also have the link to my Patreon page if you want to support this channel. I will see you next time at the vault. I'm Jan Welch and take care.